Hey everyone, welcome back to Billy Ray Garage. Today's video, we are going to be installing our clutch system. Now, it's gonna take me a couple days to go through it because the engine, which is right here, that's going in this weekend. Today's a Wednesday. Saturday, the engine's gonna be in and hopefully Sunday, I will get the transmission in and get the rest of the clutch system set up. But for now, I got the master cylinder right here, so and I'm gonna show you how to put this one in and rip that one out. So it's kind of a pain in the ass. You have to crawl underneath the uh, footwell for the, you know, where the pedals are. You have to get up in there, disconnect the booster. You gotta push that out of the way. There's a couple other things you gotta disconnect in order to get the old one out. So we're gonna work on that. We're gonna work on getting this guy in. This is a Tilton master cylinder for a 2004 to 2006 GTO. Should be painless. <laughs> Let's get on out there, take a look at what we got to do, and knock this out. All right, one of the first things you got to do is drain the master cylinder. So if your transmission is still in the car, this is still achievable. Uh, you could do it one of two ways. One, I have a remote bleeder line, but the only problem with the remote bleeder line is it's higher up in here, so you're not going to get all the fluid out, which is fine. Like, you just want to get it out of the master cylinder. And you also have to disconnect the master cylinder from the slave cylinder itself, which if you're going back to stock, you got this guy here. So with this, just get a needle nose plier, you'll pull it down, and it should look something like that. The little snowman popping up, and then you can pull the line out, it'll all drain out. You gotta disconnect this line anyway because you're gonna be shoving a new line in if you're doing the stock style. So I'm not doing a stock style. My slave cylinder is getting changed out to a Tilton. And obviously my master cylinder is going to be a Tilton. It's going to be done a little differently, but at least you can see how it would go if you're just going back to normal. Now, if you're going to a stock slave cylinder, obviously you have to take the transmission out. There's no way around that. You got a couple bolts. They come out and this thing self adjusts, I believe. It's been a while since I've done it, but apparently this thing just bolts in and goes. All right, sorry guys, it's windy, but you also have to remove the horn. Now this is a tamper-proof T30 Torx wrench. So you just take it in here and just loosen it. And our horn is out. So just put this aside, gonna reuse it obviously. Let's move on to the next thing. All right, now we got all that stuff disconnected. Basically the minor little shit that's in the engine compartment. Now we're gonna crawl into the footwell of the driver's side of the vehicle and crawl up underneath and twist and mess our backs up to loosen, I wanna say it's six 13 millimeter nuts. Four of them are holding in the brake booster because you're gonna need that to move. And then two are holding in the master cylinder for the clutch. So you gotta disconnect all that stuff. So I'm gonna see if this little ratchet will get in there. But if you have like a quarter inch one without a giant battery on it, you should be able to get in there. If not, you may have to do it like an idiot with a friggin' quarter inch drive or small little wrench. But we're gonna try it, we're gonna see what happens. Pretty sure you need a deep socket, but we'll check it out when we get under there. All right guys, I don't know if you could see it because it's kind of hard for me to show it because there's not a lot of room up here, but there's two studs right there next to that metal bracket that jut out. You have to disconnect those two. And then there's two more on the other side of this foam. You can see one up top, but there's two more. There's one more down below that. So you're gonna disconnect those so you get some movement on that master cylinder. Now the clutch, you can't do from this side. As you can see, there's like a stud there and a stud down there. So you gotta do that from the inside. But first you gotta get the brake booster moved. So this is gonna be uh, pretty fun. I'm not really gonna be able to show it on camera because there's no room down here. So let me knock that out real quick and get that disconnected. All right guys, you can see two of the studs there and eh, you can't really see them, but they're out. That sucked more dick than Diddy, holy shit. Got our four studs here, or our four nuts, I should say. That's the setup I had to use. Deep socket, little extension, maybe three inches. And a 3 8 ratchet. That was horrible. Uh, something to keep in mind before I took the car apart. 
I did not move the seats back, so I have no room to get in there. So I squeezed myself in. All right, let's go on to uh, some other fun stuff. All right, guys, I disconnected the clutch master cylinder from the pedal. As you can see right here, we got this little nub and we got this little plastic piece of shit. So what I did was, as maybe you could see right here, there's a little groove. I put a screwdriver under there and wedged my dumbass in here and use a tiny little pick to get that little plastic tab down while prying and it popped off. So, all right, this is all disconnected down here. So at least we can get into a good working spot in the engine bay. Alright guys, one of the last things we got to do, we got to take this bolt out, and you don't have to do this, you don't have to take these two nuts off, but I'm taking it off, I'm taking this whole bracket out. I did it last time with this in, with the bracket in, it was able to push forward enough to get enough room to move this out of the way, but I'm removing this whole bracket since I have nothing in the way, so I'm going to get this out, and we'll pick up from there. These are two 13 millimeters. All right, guys, I'm going to show you this best I can. Uh, you're not going to get a whole lot of movement on it because you have brake lines, but just enough to get in there. So give this a little tug. And we're moving out a little bit. There we go. You're not going to get a whole lot on it, but just enough. Unfortunately, that's just how it is. This thing's a motherfucker. That's about as far as we're getting on that. Now, real quick down here. In the engine bay, there's another clip you got to take out too. So, same thing, pair of needle nose, pop that little clip, and you could disconnect the line from the master cylinder and drop that out of the way or keep it in place. But you need to disconnect that because that goes down to the transmission. If you're doing a stock setup, we're doing aftermarket, so that whole thing's coming out. But to make it easier pulling it out, I got to pull that clip and disconnect the rest of the line. So, let's jump on that right now. All right, guys, I don't know if you can see it down there, but there's a, a little line. Yeah, you can see it. That stupid thing is an 11 millimeter because fuck 10, I guess. So I'm going to back that out. I'm going to disconnect the line, drop it out the bottom, and get it completely out of the way because there's no way you're going to be able to struggle that thing out through the top with that line on. So I'm going to get that out because there's no angle to record it. So stay tuned. All right, guys, I don't know if you can see it, but there's one bolt for the master cylinder. And then there's one on the other side. They are 13 millimeters. Get an extension, a swivel, and might be able to get away with a small 13 millimeter. I'm going to give it a go. I don't remember how this went, but we got to get it out, unfortunately. <laughs> I don't know if you could see this, guys, but I got my 13 millimeter on there somehow. A short, stubby one, long extension with a swivel on the end, and a 3 8 socket so this is the one on the inside still gotta get the one on the outside all right after about an hour struggle finally got this little bitch off holy shit i'll show you what i went through to get this thing off i don't remember it being this hard but the only thing you need to save from this is a little tank the rest of this can go fuck itself so you see those two little uh cock sucking studs sticking out yeah you have to get the nuts off them there's no fucking room the top one wasn't so bad but the bottom one, that sucks so much. I'd use this funky little wrench, stick my hand through here to get on it and do like an eighth of a turn, not even. And I had to do that many, 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 many times because I could not break the thing free. Could not get my hand in there to even do it. I will say these are really good directions, but they don't tell you the horrors that you're gonna see freaking trying to do this. So if you have fat wrists, and slit your wrist like I did. Good luck. Let's get on to getting the new one in, which is probably going to be a treat in itself. Let's start getting into that. All right, guys, we're going to start installing the new master cylinder. Now, as per the directions, you are removing the master cylinder itself from this aluminum bracket. Uh, they come loose already, so just back these nuts off. <laughs> these nuts. So you're going to back these things out and separate it okay we are successfully separated we got these studs these are going to sit up top just like that so, so once you get this in this is going to slide back in and hopefully it works as described we'll see this is probably gonna be a nightmare especially if you're trying to get a bracket on and then trying to fish this thing in we're gonna see so let me set this up 
and uh, it comes with new hardware so the for the studs that go through the firewall these come with new hardware I'm not sure if the if you got a new stock replacement if that comes with new hardware but save your shit just in case so let me throw this in and we'll see what we could do okay guys got the little bracket in now I was able to ow my wrist my wrist oh you can't go that way so I was able to take a quarter inch ratchet the 13 millimeter and get on this guy and turn it very slowly like eighth of a turn at a time it sucked and then I was able to shoot through the top here with a 3 8 drive if you have if you have a quarter inch that'll probably be better but I was able to get on that nut on top and tighten that up so now it is time to stick the master cylinder in now these little nuts you gotta get them on somehow top one should be okay bottom one's gonna be a bitch so prepare to struggle I'm gonna deviate from the directions a little bit because the directions tell you to install this and then install the line I do not think that's gonna be possible so I'm gonna install the line and run it underneath the master cylinder because it looks like there's no way to get in there so I'm just gonna do that and also I'm gonna get this little cap started on top so you take this little rubber boot off and you slide this bad boy on all right I'm gonna struggle bus getting this thing on because this thing is slightly too small so you have to somehow power this thing onto here so while I fuck with this stand by all right guys to get that thing on I put it like this in my hand and just squeezed with my legs and was able to push it in without damaging it and I tightened this thing up this little clamp to hold this on which I don't even think this thing would ever come off this thing's on so friggin tight but putting it on trying to put it on a way that will not screw me so I figured if this is going away from the brake master cylinder it won't get in my way this thing won't get in the way of the master cylinder so now gonna put the line on just like this get this started and it's a 9 16 and you just tighten it up hopefully it's that easy and I'm gonna angle it off to the side a little bit so it should not be in the way of anything it better not be if it is I'll just have to adjust it so hopefully I'll be able to get this so 9 16 wrench give it a little actually that's not so bad neighbors are walking their dog uh, all right that's pretty tight all right i got this thing going straight down it should be able to go underneath everything and stick out the bottom of the car in theory should work now i have to try and get these little fuck stains of nuts on because there's absolutely zero room here again there, there's absolutely no room in there it's it's a battle of patience and will and determination i'm gonna win because I'm getting in there. All right, guys, I got this thing started by hand, and this thing is a nightmare. Uh, there is literally no room in there. It's just a battle of patience and persistence, and this plane needs to go. <laughs> so, just to give you a little heads up, that little filler, try and get it more straight. Now the problem is once you get this on, it is super tight. Like it is hard to friggin do anything with it. So I'm gonna try something. There's a little nut on the top. I got that started and I got the one on the bottom started. This one I should be able to get. But like I said, you gotta shove your hand in here, get around a wiring harness and all that fun stuff. So this thing absolutely sucks. So hopefully it works so I don't have to friggin take it out again or do any of that shit. I got the bottom nut started that thing's ridiculous to reach like literally maybe maybe get like an eighth of a turn on that thing and same thing up top there's not a lot there so just do what you can by finger and then just try and crank it so this thing is a struggle and hopefully it's worth it my advice is if you're doing this patience 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 another thing the directions say do not take the brake booster off or the master cylinder don't disconnect any of that stuff but without the ECU here, I probably wouldn't be able to get as far as I could because I could pull this out further, but it's just a matter of time and patience. Unfortunately, I cannot show you anything in there because it is so tight. And all I could say is that if you get this kit, 
the more you can get out of the way, the better. Like probably if you had headers on there or an exhaust manifold, just get that out of the way. It, there's literally no room. I, I don't remember it being this bad, putting a stock unit in when my clutch had the issue. Like I remember it sucking, but not this bad. Uh, I don't know if it's because of the size of it and all that stuff, but it is what it is. So I'm gonna try and tighten those two bolts up to the bracket and hopefully we could bang this thing out. All right guys, just finished putting that master cylinder in and holy Christ. So the cons of this thing, there are a lot. Luckily I had the engine out of the car because there's no way you're getting this thing in without the engine out of the way because you need to get in the engine bay, get underneath, you gotta pull the master cylinder out further for the brake booster. Like, it's just, I don't think this is worth it. So, if you're stripping the entire car down and you're just making a race car out of it, cool, good to go. You got the room to do it, no problem. I'll show you what the final product looks like, but, uh, Jesus. All right, so the sun is douching us here, so maybe I could shadow it. So there's our clutch down there, that little white cap right there. This is our line going back to the stock tank that goes down there. Now, that little piece of shit cap, once you get it on, there is no turning it. I tried everything. I put boiling water on it, trying to swallow it up and get it off. No go. So I just kind of had to get it on in place. And it's just, it's just held to even get that thing on. So like I said, the fluid reservoir, I just, I looped it up around here instead of just coming straight in because once the cap was on, I could not turn that to save my life. Uh, we got this all hooked back up, brake master cylinders put back in, the boosters bolted up. I put the ECU in because the next project for this car is engine is going in tomorrow. Cannot wait. As you can see, it's sitting over there, all nice and pert. Let me show you what's got to go on underneath the steering column. Alright guys, last thing you got to do is thread this part onto the clutch master cylinder and the directions say to push the pedal halfway down like in the middle this thing does bottom out at some point so I backed it off a little bit just so I have some wiggle room you're not going to do anything else with this until the clutch is ready to be used so do not press the pedal in so just locking it in there I'm going to throw a tie wrap around here just to hold this in temporarily so I don't have to keep taking that clip off. Next we'll go on to the slave cylinder.